All right, folks, we are back. Uh, moving on to the next item, Black Book. Whatever that is. Hopefully it's better than the last one. Uh, that game <laughs> Beyond the Wire. Uh, not enjoyable at all. Black Book. Random Bible verse from the Book of Revelation. Uh, then I saw on the right hand of him who sat in the throne a scroll with writing on both sides and sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming in a loud voice, who is worthy to break the seals and open the scroll? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth could open the scroll or even look inside it. Alright, apparently there's DLC, which we don't have. Uh, turn that off. Turn it off. Off. Okay. New game. Choose a difficulty. Normal. Once upon a time, evil spirits dwelled here. In a sense, they still do. I will tell you a story. It happened long ago, even before the revolution. It happened here, not far from Cherdin. I heard my grandmother tell it. A man was fostering an orphan girl. He was a Noah. Everyone called him Old Yegor. She didn't want to become a witch, but he taught her his craft. She was to be married to a special young man. I can't recall what exactly happened, but this young man took his own life. He was later buried beyond the gates of the churchyard. Which meant that he would pass straight to hell. That's As for the old tense. Vasilisa, she refused to accept it. She was intent on bringing back his soul from the inferno. To do this, she would need to break the seven seals of the Black Book, which Old Igor kept, and retrieve him. Hmm. That does and not... And it was for that reason that Vasilisa agreed to become a witch. Sound. But to become one, she needed to be initiated in a banya or at a crossroads. That does and not so sound like Vasilisa a good idea. Set out for the crossroads. Um, yeah, let's let's break the ancient seven seals of this black book just to retrieve the soul of my dead husband. <laughs> what could go wrong? Me too. Been waiting, hoping for you to return. Yeah, he's dead. You never sat at the table. Where are you now, sweetheart? Where are you headed? Relatives. And from the warm summer, departed. There's no entrance or exit for you, it seems. Cold Mother Earth. And a churchyard fence to hold on to. <laughs> Enough. I don't believe you would do this to yourself. <laughs> It'll all be well. All will be well. I'll accept this knowledge from Grandpa, though I know what you thought of that. But there's no other choice. I'll drag you from that rope myself. Sleep for now. Sleep. I won't be long. Yeah, you see. Necromancy. You didn't bury him in the holy ground. That's this is. It's not gonna go well. Get some herbs, I guess. Adam's head. All right. How do we? Okay, this is interesting. 
the crossroads. The darkness of the night is filled with anticipation. You're at Mikhail's crossroads, along with old Yegor. You know the ritual that has to be done, but you've never thought of what might happen once it's complete. However, the time to draw the circle has come. Uh -huh. My, uh, gold bit. What the hell's a gold bit? The crosses look old. It seems people were buried here quite some time ago. Uh huh. Is that why they call it the crossroad? Because people were buried here? Nah. <laughs> Cherding, 16 miles. Selikamsk, 102 miles. Nerop, 21 miles. Okay. Ritual candles. Sure. Let's take those. Alright, my man. Do your thing. So, have you found the candles? I didn't even know we needed well them. Well done. All by yourself at that. Seems my teachings were not lost on you after all. Now let's draw a circle. Be careful not to leave any gaps. Otherwise we'll be crushed by evil spirits. Make circle. Oh yeah. This is made a circle. Is it all right, grandfather? This is perfectly normal thing to do with your grandfather. The circle is drawn. No gaps, good. Too late to dither now. You think that I can help him? Bro, he's dead. Sure you can. You can do anything when you have the book. So says the legend. This is <laughs> This is not without a good idea. Well, go on. It's time for you to take my knowledge. Such a long time we've spent together. Parting with it is bittersweet. Well, take it. Yeah. Very good. Would you look at that? What power emanates from the book? The seal is open. It seems great sorcery lurks in you. Well, think about it later. Now speak the words I taught you. Read the spell. I'll get up without crossing myself, but I will go to the crossroads. On the crossroads, I'll draw a circle and step into it. And I shall speak. Good merchants, come and buy my cat. For this cat, give me neither inconvertible ruble nor a fine hat. But what? bestow me with knowledge of the dark and eyes with vision sharp. So as I have said, so it will be. How does a cat and a hat have to do with this? Stone. Here are your merchants. Now listen carefully if you value your yes, life. Yes, this is perfectly to become a witch, oh, you have to defeat this really? demon. Time for your first Zagavar. Zaga, what now? Ah, oh, spell. That's cool. You can get the little definition. Oh, alright. Welcome to your first battle. Each battle consists of turns. You and your enemy take turns, but you always get to go first. Uh, that's how nice. Ladies first, I guess. Uh, you win when you destroy all enemies before you, reducing their health to zero. This is the Black Book. It contains all of your Zagovors, or spells. Try using the page Eurazi. Press the end turn button to recite your Zagovor. Four damage, I'm assuming. <clears throat> all right. Easy enough. Pages you had the previous turn have changed. The book alters pages each turn. 
Tatami. Attacks can be blocked with the defense. Defense shields you from damage but disappears on your next turn. Recite the page of the lie, which has the defense effect. Such enchanted words protect from demons, but this protection fades quickly. Mm -hmm. Now draw up a complete Zagavar. We combine several pages. Oh my. Concurrently recite a maximum of three pages as indicated by the empty slots at the top of the screen. The Zagavar consists of orders and keys. You can currently recite a Zagavar consisting of two orders and one key. You can see the type of page, order or key, in the upper corner. I see. So what if we go like this, like this, and then a key? What does that do? No. There's no special combo, it just strings them all together. Gotcha. Good job, Vasya. This demon is nearly beaten. A couple more spells to read the world of it. Black Book helps you predict your enemy's actions. Study the enemy's intents carefully to upset their plans. Alright, so he's going to attack. But who the hell can waste? Deals three damage each turn. Sure. Bless. Alright. Interesting. Uh, what the hell? What? Take that, you monkey hellhound! Mm hmm. Well, now, Vasha, answer this small. You'll oh. be a witch as soon as you return. Very good. Well, Oh, safe yeah, well, travels. safe travels. See you later. Don't die. Gates of hell. Yep. Yeah, and you see, evil demon fire-horned being saying, Good job opening the first seal. Hey, only six more to go. That, that doesn't give you pause and say, You know, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Oh, but will you be able to open the rest? This is another matter entirely. The I'm wish. curious, can the Black Book grant any wish? Indeed, as Latin dictates, who knows? Perhaps you shall meet your beloved soon. Yeah, I don't trust this thing at all. Open the scroll and break its seals. No one in heaven on earth or beneath it has ever been able to open the scroll. A look upon it yet. Who are you? What sort of devil are you? How rude, Silas. I'm your chief advisor. It is I oh. who grants you the powers of a Kaldun. Sorcerer. See, again, 
this, this, this ain't, this ain't sitting quite right. We will become better acquainted in time, I presume. Yeah. Wouldn't you like that? How do I open the seals? Oh, can't figure it out by yourself, girl. I'm disappointed in you. Uh huh. Let me return to the land of the living. No chest yet. Have you forgotten your purpose? I name you a witch. How many demons will you take on for your service? Uh, uh I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> as many as well, possible. I will certainly need the help of demons. So give me as many as possible. Oh. Uh, that's the spirit. You have just committed your first sin. They say that the fate of the Kuldun and the witch is to burn in eternal flames with no chance for absolution. The outcome of some events of the game is yours to decide. Your sin counter will change according to your decisions. Your number of sins affects your choice of replies as well as possible game endings. They say each person has an angel on their right shoulder and a devil on their left, but to whom you turn your ears entirely up to you. So, sins are bad? But you are still too weak. Soon you will have three charts at your command. A demon. That's enough okay. for now. Now go. Perhaps we'll meet again. If you manage to open the seals. Yeah. Girl, you're getting fucking pranked. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Like, how can you not realize that this is shady as fuck and a horrible idea? <laughs> what? Well, are you awake? The sun rose while you were coming to. Had to drag you home. I understand it's not easy to pass through the devil's domain. So, you've seen it? Huh? Are we home? Seems like it was all a dream. The devil made me a witch. Well, then it is a good day. Uh, what did I tell you? You should have mm, become a the... witch a long time ago. What is that? Bailichaka? Well, what's done is done. The legend says that your wish is behind the seven seals. I could never open the first one. Here's the second seal, the Aspen one. How do I open it? Maybe it was the demon at the crossroads that opened the first. Perhaps. I think that demons do play a part, but what spirit is the Aspen one? Hmm. I'll have to rack my brain a bit. Maybe there's something in the books? You yourself are a witch now. Mm -hmm. I knew that you would not let me down. Why do you care, Gramps? The news of your enlightenment has spread already. Must be the suicide case. The who who the what the now? Of the How spirit are hobgoblin? What? Now people will come to you for advice. I am old now. Not many teeth left. My Kuldun powers are waning. Uh huh. Now it is you who will help the people around here. Perhaps you will even find the right demon for your problem. Well, while you were coming to your senses, I've already spoken to most of the visitors. There's only one left. He's waiting behind the door. Look around for a start. Your book is over there, on the table. Do you remember how I taught you bookbinding? 
Afterwards, see to that visitor of yours. Some evil spirit has been giving him trouble. Got it? Have you yourself met this devil? I was initiated as a Kuldun once. I saw this devil who gave me my charts. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even lift the first seal. And you, who all you needed was one touch, and it's gone already. It seems there is great power within you. Got it? Got it. I got it, Grandpa. Time to get to work. Look for the spirits around the district. Maybe we'll get lucky with the seals. We should not tarry. Who knows? Perhaps after 40 days have passed, we won't be able to help. Ah, so an Eastern Orthodoxy traditional memorial service held on the 40th day after the death of the departed, after which his or her soul leaves this world. God bless. I see. I cannot continue onward until we hear them all out. Hmm. Oh, God bless Yegor Yevlampovich, Vasilisa Fyodorovna. God bless. I come bearing gifts. Some flour for your household. Mm, sure. I won't waste your time. I'll tell you straight away. Something terrible is happening at the mill. We were working in the night, when suddenly we heard some strange sounds. Then a shadow began to darken in one of the corners. Such a deep blackness. We ran for our lives. You are known for your knowledge in these matters. What should I do now? Am I? <laughs> During the night shift at the windmill, he heard some strange sounds and saw some strange shift in shadows. What could be behind such emanations? If you answer a knowledge ability question correctly, you'll receive an experience reward. Sometimes your answer will influence in-game events. To recognize the correct answer, you have to carefully study your surroundings and the onomasticon, which can open at any moment from my menu. You can also receive a hint by pressing your knowledge button. We only get half the experience. The, I'm sorry, onomasticon. A man from a so you would tell us stories, Miller make offerings to a Shishiga, or else you should prevent the mill's mechanism from turning. Gave part of his stories when Brent Crumbs on one occasion he forgot and offered nothing when mill ground to a halt. Sitting on the grinder, threatening him with her finger outstretched. The miller gathered some tobacco and threw it at the shadows in the corner of the mill at midnight, when mill started turning again, and the Shishiga stopped causing mischief. It was located in a part of it. Demons. Why do you work at night? Demons are at work. Jesus Christ. Well, how do you think the millstones turn? Not by the wind alone, obviously. It's forbidden to work a windmill after nightfall. But what do we do now? I did everything right when I built it. Please, help me. I have this old item that you might find useful. You'd better cuff it up if we help you. <laughs> All right, Vasha. Look into what's going on with that place. The demon there may be of use to us, you know? I'll find out what's going on with your chort. All right, and that's Dean. Oh, thank you. I was told you wouldn't let me down. Uh, goodbye for now. He's not your average Miller. Usually they consort with a Leshy, but this Miller has some chort. Well, I'll study these seals while you're off dealing with the mill. And to make your trip a bit easier, take this herb. It is called an Adam's Head. It will heal you up if anything goes sideways. Time for you to be on your way. Evil spirits won't quell themselves. Well, you get all that? Wanna ask anything else? No, time to Sorry, go. Grandfather. Goodbye. Ah, wait. One oh, more come thing. on. I've sent the chort to Kushova village. He must have cursed someone. What? Go there and fix it. The you fuck, man? <laughs> All right, Grandpa. 
Now on your travel map, every night it'll display different locations. You can go on your way only after you speak to all of your visitors. Visit any available location of your health recovers only after you accomplish your task and return to the Izba. Your goal is to visit your main task location. However, you can't reach it without visiting all the other locations along the way. Of course I can't. Game auto saves each time a location changes. You can also save your progress manually. Right. Map. Great. Best of luck. Sure. Why is the fucking windmill 20 miles away? The fuck? Very well, to the old riverbed. The silver glow of the moon catches glimpses of the foul water. The chilled northern night air is split by dull croaks coming from the swamp. Draw a circle. Quickly draw a circle on the soft swamp soil and light the candles. A moment passes, then another. Finally, a demon appears and lunges at your defensive circle. When in doubt, always go for that black magic shit. Chort at the riverbeds. Alright, what do we got? He's gonna pop, bop us for four. So, we can, uh, we can use that. We can, we can give him a little, little bop. A little bop. Now he can't get us, and we can lay the smack down on him. All right. Nice try, guy. He's gonna do a three. Uh, do, do, do three. Uh, excellent. Great. Carefully choose the right moment, whatever. Status effects, don't care. Bopping them on the head. Nice try, my guy. Ooh, five. Should die from the uh, waste. Yes. Choose a new page. Ah, oh, interesting. Well versed. Amplifies by one for every other page of the same color in Zagovar. Firm. Hmm? I don't. That one, I guess. I don't know. Okay, um, <clears throat> let's set off. <laughs> Near the forest's edge, you see a white towel on an old stump. Someone has left a bottle of milk and some piragi. Near these gifts is a birch charter. Peasants from Bigichi village are asking the Leshi to take care of their cattle. <laughs> um... Amper with you it. draw up a new charter. Now the Lieshi will be helping peasants from Vilgert. If evil spirits help anyone, they should help your village, not the inhabitants <laughs> of Bigichi. Yeah, that's that's damn straight. You're gonna help me, myself, and I. Let's continue on our way. On a hillside near Kacheva Lake, you see two silhouettes. One is combing the other's long hair. There is something strange in his uneven movements. Something that gives you shivers. Violence is never the question. It only takes a single step for the it's demons the answer. to notice you. And the answer is yes. Ah, <sighs> okay, dokey, artichokey. Um, got shit for hands. But you ain't getting in. Hmm, 
What a shame. Come on, give me some more fucking damage. None of this fucking healing blocking shit. I want some damage. I mean, because he's dead now, so that's that's good. Oh. I only dealt one damage to him. Regardless, he should be dead next turn. Here we go. Let's see. We'll want one of those. Uh, that one, yeah. And that one is the air. Bop him around a little bit. Goodbye. Alright, well, let's try this shit out. Um... Five. Shit, that's gonna that's gonna actually get me. Most unfortunate. Ah, okay, so since it's firm, it's just automatically there. Very nice. And then if I add this, its damage goes up by one. And if I add that, it goes up by one again. Cool stuff. Yeah, he did. And then we'll add that. Gesture. Does not use word slots. Piety. Increases the value in pages. Ooh. Let's go with that one. Oh, the optional task is to visit the village. So let's go do the optional task. You stealthily creep by the village houses. At least, you thought you were being stealthy. What's right. your wait? I have business with you. Do Hush. you? But better whisper. I've got this neighbor and I hate her guts. Oh, I want me to curse her? So curse her. <laughs> yep. Here's a killer curse or something. Not a strong one. I've got a gift ready for you. Curse the peasant instead. <laughs> Fuck you. Have time for this. You wait for the peasant to leave, then read a black zagavar to curse him. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Give me all the sin. You notice a noisy family gathering in front of one of the houses. It's unusual to see an entire family out on the street at this hour. Strange, muffled sounds are coming from inside their house. Good evening to you, Vasilisa. God himself has sent you to us tonight. Has he now? Everything has been turned upside down in our house. The enemy of man is haunting our house. The devil himself is here. Everyone is scared senseless. How did it manage to get in here? It's no simple matter for a chort to get inside a human dwelling. What did you do yesterday? We just had some tea. Natalia likes it a lot. She's quite fond of tea. Then we prayed and went to sleep. And in the middle of the night, it all started. Tea time turned into a short invasion. I wonder why these demons appeared in the first place. Well, let's check the Omnimastashan. Uh, climb down. Is he done? Is he into the mall? Uh, we come no fewer than three. Blah, blah, blah. That's not helpful. I'm going to try to make an offering. Got an offered nothing. Dishes not locked away at night or crossed. Aha! A sick child needs to be thrown across the threshold. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, this is not locked away at night or crossed. Become a refuge for evil spirits. 
Fish is not locked away or crossed. So we, we don't want to cross it. Where the hell? There we go. Fish is not locked away at night or crossed. Oh, not crossed. Okay, so you forgot to cross and the tableware. The sign of the cross over the samovar? That must be it. We didn't mark the samovar with a cross. You must do this. And please remember next time. You're such a great knower, Vasya. Knower. Uh huh. Please, won't you help us? Don't leave us this way. Don't have time for this. Yeah, I'll oh, help you. Very well. I will help you. Thank you, Vasilisa. Have some milk for you, Johnny. You come inside the Izba. Everything is in complete disarray. The Chorts have certainly had their yep. way to approach, approach the overturn. Ah, there. So you're gonna shield, you're gonna attack. Uh, let's see here. We can do this. Let's absolutely ruin you. And then... Uh, no. We want to block some of that. All right, let's see here. We can um, bless, increase. Oh, okay. Let's, let's go with that, and let's go with that, and then let's go with that. Blocked. Oh. This asshole keeps shielding him. Alright. In that case, we need to kill him. And we need to shield ourselves a little bit. But our, uh, whatever that Reeve is, our DOT should take care of him because it ignores defense. So, we good now. Do that so we get a nice heal. There we go. Alright. And then you die. Perfect. And now. You die too. By removes positive status from uh, gesture does not use word slots. Let's, let's go with that. The Why elders not? of the family bow to you and thank you for helping them. They also give thanks to God. For All right, leave. Fun, fun, fun. All right, we visited that. We can let's see. There's a couple other places we can visit. Let's set off there. I know we're running a little long, but let's let's explore all Standing this first amidst area. The black wooden figures, you hear a rustle in the trees. You read the protective spells, but out comes a person, not right. a demon. Greet the beggar. Oh, a witch, a witch. I can smell your kind from a mile away. Can you spare a few coins? I don't need much to get by. A person is only as good as they are charitable. 
No. Right, so you can spend it on booze? Get a job. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. God will punish you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Maximum sin run. Let's go. While traveling through the woods, you stumble upon a snake's nest. Baby snakes are still inside their eggs. Fortunately, the mother snake does not seem to be around. You make a small wall of stones around the nest and wait for the larger snake to come back. The mother snake soon returns. Seeing the barrier, she fruitlessly tries to get past, but soon leaves. What even? Some time passes, and the snake comes back with a bunch of grass in its mouth. The snake touches the grassy mass to the stone barrier, and the wall instantly collapses. The snake is reunited with its nest. You quickly grab the grass before the snake hides it. All right. It smells of rust. The only noticeable thing about it is the cross shape made by four leaves. Fortune has smiled upon you. You have found a break herb, a bundle of aromatic weeds that opens locks and barriers. Cool, I guess? You take the herb and get ready to go on your way. Maybe we can use that to bust open the seal? I suppose let's set off here. Gloomy windmill arms creak in the distance, parting the pre-dawn fog. The shadow of an owl passes overhead. It crosses your path, a bad omen. Yeah, let's follow now the suddenly, owl. Suddenly, you come upon a swamp and stop at its border. It is dangerous to continue onward. You turn to go back and notice a devil's finger beneath your feet. Hmm. Okay, four health. Cool. Uh, oh, there's more things over here. What's this ravine? Let's set off there. You meet two travelers from Bigichi village who are on their way to the fields. The three of you continue on your journey together. Near the mouth of a chasm, one of them jokingly tries to shove you into the pit. That will not stand. You strike the peasant backhanded. As you glare at your two traveling companions, they transform into black, shadow-cloaked demons. Third time this week. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Number of turns until recitation is complete. So we've got to smack the shit out of... <coughs> excuse me. Out of that guy. Jesus Christ. Alright, we've got three defense to start with, so... Uh, let's... Let's go. Take another heal. You ain't got shit on me. You're gonna do two damage. Firm, well burst, waste, waste. God damn it. Alright, well, let's get that in there. And I guess that in there. Three plus another three damage. Okay, yeah, we should be able to kill him before his nonsense happens all right so that should kill him we've got that locked in now we'll need that no no we'll do that one We'll do that one, and then one of these. Perfect.
Aha, very cool. So we can, we can stack some extra cards that way. Nothing will really heal me, so... It's whatever. I mean, he's dying anyway. Because of the waste. Once and forever. Firm one, two defenses. That sounds nice. Increase the number of order in the book by one. Hmm. Well, first, bless three. Let's go with uh, that one. Excellent. And then we shall explore the Chud Forest, and then we'll go to the windmill. And then, after we're done at the windmill, uh, that's when we'll wrap the this up. And approach the Chud Forest. The grim silence envelops you. The only sound you hear is of the fir branches, whispering in the morning fog. Suddenly, you see a swarm of chorts flying out of the side of the building, gleefully throwing around pieces of the windmill's wooden machinery. Attack. You read some zagavers, and the chorts disperse like a murder of startled crows. Several chorts fly at you, but are stopped abruptly by a quickly drawn protective circle. Prepare to fight! Let's see here. We can block three damage. Um, might be able to just kill this guy straight up. Yeah, goodbye. Okie dokies. Uh, let's go with that. And then boom, boom. Eight damage. And that will take care of that. Excellent. And four damage. And we still have that, so we get another two. Get a heal in there, and then that, and we'll be all set. Bop. Defense, defense, heal. Amazing. Goodbye. Fierce amplifies its damage by two after each use of pages of the same name. Interesting. Ward increases for three turns at the beginning of each round. Alright. I've been everywhere, but I still haven't found any of these valuable things. So let's go to the old windmill. Oh, there's there's some things there. Alright, that's fine then. <laughs> the spruce branches part, and an old mill stands before you. This place is filled with legends and stories from the surrounding villages. Those who visited this place at dusk, or worse, at night, speak of dark phantoms in the windows of the mill, of sudden gusts of wind and other devilry. It is what they call a bad place. Well, let's look around, shall we? Door to the windmill. It's obvious the mill is old. Some wood has rotted through making more windows. You approach and try to open the door. It's closed. All right. As soon break as herb. you press the break herb to the lock, it opens and falls to the ground. Some kind of will has been placed here by the miller. Wonderful insight. 
grindstones are still, but the blades of the mallet turning. Let's go to the second floor then. Hmm, have anything for me in here? This chest is for various tools used at the mill. Nothing interesting. Oh, lame. You study the cabinet. Among various krinkas, old pots, vessel. and birch bark containers, you find a sack with silver rubles. Don't you mind if I do. To take the money. The miller will hardly miss it. Herb. All right. Always in the mood for some herb. A broken block of wood is near the wall. It seems to be part of the windmill's mechanism and the reason why the grindstones are standing still. Through a hole in the wall, you see the woods of Chirpi. Here outside, I guess. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Expected to see a wretched old man, not a beautiful maiden. The thirteenth brother. Why are you here then? Sure. Then I didn't expect to meet a demon speaking the common tongue. I'm an apprentice witch. Who are you? Ah, a demon, you say? Oh, you see, maiden, I'm not a common short. I am known as the Thirteenth Brother. I am the guardian of the village, the forest, and the secret hidden garden and its heart. Uh -huh. I am also the guardian of this windmill. All of this is me, the Unseen Master, at your service. What kind of name is that? The Thirteenth Brother? It is a name whispered through time and across many lands, until it became my name, that is. I will tell you the story, if you want to hear it, of course. There is still time until the dawn. Sure, tell me. Come on, then. Tell me. I'm a scholar of evil spirits and the demons of the world. It is good to meet a sorceress that doesn't immediately hurl herbs and venomous phrases before engaging in the more sophisticated art of conversation. Very well. So you're interested. A long time ago... Well, obviously. I had twelve brothers. Could have guessed that. I was the thirteenth brother, the younger. At that time, there was a war, and we were enlisted, you might say. I served under the strongest and most capable commander. He kept me alive, and so I became the last of my brothers, the thirteenth, and the only one remaining. After all those years, fate has brought me here. Why are you here, then? The Miller. Well, what do you want with the windmill, then? Haven't you figured it out? Nope. Perhaps I was wrong about you. I thought of you to be a strong witch, a master of wit, deduction, and intellect, one endowed with knowledge that others do not possess. I guess not. The windmill is possessed. But is the demon's presence here as spontaneous as it appears to be? I must think about why he's here in the first place. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. Onomasticon. Yeah, so the village, you tell us the stories, make an offering. Okay, so perhaps the offering. Lord 
summoned by a sacrifice. You were summoned by a sacrifice. You've been here since your creation. Well, you are ineligible indeed. Not to mention, I'm bound to this pitiful miller. But I desire a powerful master. Mm-hmm. Take me as your servant. My sacrifice will attract someone more agreeable. And you will have both your reward from the miller and the reward of my presence. Sure, why not? Well, so be it. I could use a chort like you, if not just for the conversation. Wait, perhaps you are not as strong as you seem. There is yet to be such a Kaldun who can outmatch the thirteenth brother. Very well. 5x2? 50? Are you fucking me? What? Bruh! I ain't got shit to deal with that. Ward 3 increases for 3 turns. Yeah, alright, so... I guess... Well, I can block half of it. Bruh, he's gonna do that every time? Alright, that does three this turn. Increase the value by three, so if we do that, then... What? Increases... Value in pages for three. Okay. I do not appreciate this. Well, I managed to block it all this time at least. waste. I don't know what the hell you just did, but 13 defense. Hmm. heal and lots of defense so suck it I don't, I don't care you ain't getting in here not today yep excellent you're doing that again and I have sealed I cannot read this page well that's Annoying. Uh, waste and uh, more defense. Whoa, where'd I get all that defense from? All 
Wow, what? The book. It is Does a piety stay artifact. forever? I never gave up before, and I'm not going to now. Or has it been decreasing? Oh no, I have no defense. That's very bad. Uh, gesture. Excellent. That's basically free. Um, free up the waste. Yeah, I got nothing else that I can do. Alright, so yeah, it looks like piety just hangs around. So that's pretty fucking great. Okay. Um. Oh wait, no, no, he's shielding. That'll deal seven damage plus the waste. Yeah, good. All right, he did. Oh no, piety doesn't stick around because it just decreased. All right, I don't know. Important thing is though that he did. One to all enemies. Hmm. Removes negative statuses. Increase the number of keys in the book in the next round by one. Moves negative I like negative status. We gain a level and grow in power. You are now in the skill section of the menu. Here you can unlock new magic abilities. You can visit the section through the menu at any time. With each level you increase your health and gain knowledge points which are necessary to unlock new abilities. As you increase your level, more and more demons will join your swarm. Some abilities unlock automatically at the moment of attaining a certain level. Okay. Skill points. Devilry. Increase the number of chorts. Which idle chort torments its cold master. Um. Level 5. Level 3. So, yeah, there's nothing I can do there. Alright, oh, we can... <coughs> we can learn that. Items. Uh, shop prices. Items per turn. Visiting presents. Peasants bring more stuff. That sounds good. Draw an additional order page each turn. Draw an additional key page. Page creation costs. Those sound nice. Shorts bring more for jobs. You can send one short on a meaningless job. Um. Mm hmm. Uh. Meaningless job? I don't know. I mean, I figure we're gonna we're gonna get a short here. You take the demon into your personal service. He will ask for the book. Like any other chort. Peasants. The mill is now without a spirit, but this is none of your concern. Okay, return home. How to kidnap from Banya. And then he disappeared. He won't be interfering with work at the windmill anymore. So, you took up a new chort. Hope it doesn't backfire. Well, uh, while you were gone, I had some thoughts about the seals. Every single piece has its meaning, and every seal requires a demon. The second one is the Aspen one. We'll have to think what to do next. Okay, let's get to work. Hmm, hello? Shorts are back. I sent them to perform an arduous task. That's why they weren't around. Now I should give them tasks? Well, what did you expect? You knew what you signed up for. Everything has a price. Especially wishes. <clears throat> if you don't want them to torture you, <laughs> send them to curse people. That's the life of a Kaldun for you. And if I don't want to curse anyone? Then suffer. 
These demons won't leave you alone. I've seen them before in your pastel. Not often, though. Now you will see them plenty. You can observe our entire gubernia in your pastel. In the end, Empire. you decide what you do with those shorts of yours. God help us. Pester with chorts. Pester full of chorts. You now have an number of chorts yearning for mischief. Be careful. Idle chorts torment their master. It takes some time for chorts to do their job a day or more. Each location is a specific type of job. Hunger, strife, corruption, etc. <laughs> can discover it by learning a specific skill. In order for chorts not to torment you and steal my health, don't forget to give them jobs every month. Jeez. Come on, bruh. Favorite occupation is to interfere with the work of the peasants. So what's attract a married man to his wife's friend? Send rats. Send drought. Summon a thunderstorm. Send fleas and roaches. Steal milk from a cow. <laughs> what do you like to do? You tell me nothing. Uh, lost an eye in a bed. Likes it when children starve. Hates people even more. Alright, well, I guess if you hate people, go... Number of days, number of sins I receive. <laughs> Oh, man. Alright, let's see. So we'll get the most cash money if we send him to go do that. Uh, 12, 3, 11, 9, 8. Meaningless job. Oh, okay. So that, that just... Gotcha. If we're trying to... If we're trying to minimize the amount of sin we bring on people. But, uh, who the hell cares? You know... Um, so you just, you don't pay out nearly as well. All right, so I don't, I don't know. You go do, do that. You, uh, go do that. Now he hates people even more. Well, you go do that, I guess. I don't fucking know. Hates people. Wait, who did I do? I don't. Whatever. Get out of here. <laughs> go fucking curse some people. Alright, well, this is certainly interesting, and I just realized I've been playing this for over an hour, so. We'll probably be playing it some more because it's it's kind of fun, um, and yeah, I I enjoy so far. Um, anyway, thank you all for watching if you've made it this far, and we'll see you in the next one when we come back with uh, what's next up on our list of games. See you then.